Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Let us learn of video 1 expression of biological information subtopic 6.1 DNA and genetic information and 6.3 protein synthesis Chapter 6 on topic of expression of biological information should be included subtopic 6.1 DNA and genetic information and subtopic 6.3 protein synthesis presented by Madam Azrina Binti Arias, Biology Lecturer, Kemen X. Chapter 6 included four subtopics, which is 6.1 DNA and genetic information, 6.2 DNA replication, 6.3 protein synthesis, 6.4 gene regulation lack of rod. The course learning outcome for this subtopic 6.1 DNA and genetic information. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to state the concept of central dogma. What is central dogma? The central dogma of molecular biology is a framework for understanding the flow of genetic information between DNA, RNA, and protein in living organisms. In the concept of central dogma, we can have in this diagram here where there are double helix of the structure DNA polynucleotide that must undergo transcription process to form into single stranded of RNA and this RNA molecule must undergo translation process to form sequence of amino acids or we call it also as the polypeptide chain that folding together to form structure called protein. The normal flow of biological genetic information can be explained by the concept of central dogma of molecular biology that have been first described by Sir Francis Crick in 1958. He described that the first of the process known as DNA replication must occur first where the DNA molecule can replicate this information in a process that involves many enzymes. Follow after the DNA replication, the process called transcription. But in this transcription process, the DNA information can be copied into molecule mRNA. For the eukaryotic cells, the mRNA will proceed with post-transcriptional processing before migrates to nu from nucleus to the cytoplasm. And finally, the process of the translation, where in the translation, the mRNA 
act as a template carries the coded information from DNA in the nucleus to cytoplasms and ribosomes use it for protein synthesis. Based on this diagram, we can look in this diagram where we have the double stranded of helix structure of DNA molecule that must undergo DNA replication catalyzed by DNA polymerase to form another molecule of DNA or second copy of DNA molecule and this DNA molecule in the nucleus must be transcript or undergo transcription process to produce the single stranded mRNA catalyzed by the RNA polymerase. The structure of mRNA will leave the nucleus into cytoplasm to undergo translation process to be translated into molecule of protein. This is a diagram shows the concept of central dogma where in this diagram shows you how come from the DNA molecule can be transcribed into RNA which is mRNA and the mRNA is supposed to be sent or diffused into the structure of the cytoplasm and finally undergo translation to produce the protein chain or we call it protein. Next, course learning outcome in subtopic 6.3 protein synthesis, transcription and translation. The student should be able to explain briefly transcription and translation. In the diagram here shows that the DNA double helix must make the, D, the RNA molecule by a process called transcription in the nucleus and the mRNA or RNA will mix the protein called also as the polypeptide by using the process called translation that occurred in the cytoplasm. All of these things in the diagram referred to as the central dogma of molecular biology. Let us overview the transcription and translation. As we know that DNA molecule is a genetic material and can control biosynthetic properties of a cell, such as an example here to synthesis the protein. The information of genetic flows from gene to protein through two major processes, which is first, transcription, and second, translation. Let us look what is the meaning of the transcription. The transcription means the synthesis of RNA, or we call it mRNA, M stands for messenger RNA, using the DNA as a template. At the end, product resulting from the transcription is the molecule of mRNA that complementary to the gene sequence 
of one of the double helix strand from the structure of DNA molecule. Let us look at the definition of translation. The translation means the synthesis of polypeptide using the genetic information encoded in mRNA. During the process of translation, a linear sequence of bases in mRNA is translated into the linear sequence of amino acids or the sequence of amino acids also can be known as the polypeptide chain or we call it also as a protein and it occurs at ribosomes. So, under the diagram here, summarize or overview, overview the transcription and translation process where the DNA strand that's supposed to be act as a template for the transcription process to occur is start from the 3' to the 5' end only one strand will be chose for the transcription of the, uh, from the DNA molecule and when the transcription occurs it will produce at the end is the single stranded messenger RNA from the sequence of the nucleotide from 5' prime to the 3' prime end. And during the translation where the mRNA is supposed to be translated into molecule protein, the sequence of the codon, which means the triplet bases, can encode it for the specific of the amino acid like UGG codon can from the mRNA can actually code it for the amino acid of tryptophan. Why we have here UUU is a codon that coded for the phenylalanine, GGC coded for the glycine, and UCA can code it for the serine. So, the sequence of the amino acids here can form what we call protein or polypeptide chain. What is the importance of protein synthesis? Protein is supposed to be synthesized from the body to produce or involve in the production of hormones which can control both growth and body metabolism. Number two, Production of enzymes, where the enzyme can catalyze biochemical reaction. And three, production of antibodies, to let the body have these antibodies for body's defense mechanism. And number four, for the formation of actin and myosin during muscular locomotion. And number five, for the formation of the collagen elastin and keratin that will let the body prepare for the structural support and the last one is for the formation of hemoglobin and myoglobin because both of the hemoglobin and myoglobin is quite important in the respiratory treatment of the respiration in the diagram here shows you where we have the eukaryotic cells. In the eukaryotic cells, the transcription occurs in the nucleus and the translation occurs mainly at the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. While the diagram here shows that in prokaryotic cell, since the bacteria do not have the nucleus, so both of the transcription and translation process occurs in cytoplasm. So that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.